Hello everyone, today we're working on a 2004 Freightliner Columbia. It's got a Mercedes-Benz 460 horse engine in it. We've got a water pump, uh, the bearings are let loose on it, so we've got to re replace it, put in a rebuilt water pump. This is what the water pump looks like. Uh, not an inexpensive unit, it costs about 500 bucks. Uh, we're going to go through the procedure and show you what it takes to take that out and put in a new uh, remanufactured water pump. So I'm going to uh, show you some of the things that need to come off in order to get at it. And uh, we'll get started with that and we'll get back with you. Okay, we've already drained out the coolant. And uh, once I get the coolant off, there's a hose right down here we want to take off the radiator. And it comes off over here on the, right here on the side of that uh, water pump. There's a connection that gets unbolted. Um, we take out the two bolts up there in the ears, right there about where my fingers are at. And that'll allow this piece here to come off the water pump. And <clears throat> we take the belts off. We've got the serpentine belts off. Um, the biggest thing, the biggest problem we're going to have is getting that fan out. Or actually the fan hub. It's kind of a long one. And there's not a lot of room between the uh, radiator and the uh, fan, front nose of the fan. So another thing we have to do in order to get that out, there's supports here for this radiator that bolt up. You're going to want to take that one off. It comes down underneath the air cleaner. And there's a stud right here where my fingers are at. Take off that, that bolt. We get that over and out of the way, and what that gives us is enough room to get this uh, fan shroud up and out of the way, because that fan's got to come out first before we can take off that fan hub. So there's actually four bolts, one in each corner, one about right there where my finger's at, one down here in the lower corner, and if you go over to the other side, it's the same thing. There's four bolts holding that fan shroud on. So once you have that fan shroud loose, and you got this bracket out of the way, you can rotate this uh, cooling line, air conditioning line. There's a bracket here that bolts up along with that uh, fan uh, shroud. You can kind of rotate that out of the way. It gives you some room to, to maneuver this, uh, this fan shroud out of the way. So I'm going to take a shot over here near the side. I'll go over there and I'll get back with you. Okay, we're on the driver's side of the engine. And what we're going to take off first over here is this cooling hose. It goes over to the top of the water pump and up to the radiator. Get that one out of the way. And once we've got that out of the way, we've got the, uh, the other bolts out here on the corner of that fan shroud. And what that allows us to do is to pull that fan shroud back. And what I do to protect that radiator, because that's an expensive radiator, I take a piece of sheet metal, put that in there, because the snout of that fan is real close to it. I mean, there's not a lot of room in there. And once you take the bolts out for that fan hub, there's three bolts, two on the driver's side. These here are the bolts right here. There's two on the driver's side and there's one over here on the passenger side. So I leave one of those bolts in and then I go ahead and take off right up here in front. You can take off the nuts from that fan and it allows you to slide that fan forward and work it off the front of that uh, fan clutch. And once you do that, uh, you, can, you can have enough room to get out that, uh, that fan hub because it's kind of a long bear and it's a heavy one. So I'm going to uh, wrestle that fan off of that hub, get that shroud out of the way, and then I'll show the, uh, the actual hub coming out. So I'll get back with you. Okay, another thing that needs to come off is the air line that uh, applies that, that fan clutch. It's just a little quarter inch line, get that off so it's out of the way. And <clears throat> I'm going to uh, bring this shroud. You can see right over here I got this bracket off. It gives me enough room to maneuver this shroud where I need to, fan shroud. And you need to flex that over top of that uh, fan blade and then you can wiggle that fan blade off once you got those nuts off and again the tin is there to help you protect that radiator so that we don't poke a hole in that because that would be kind of disastrous and we can set that kind of out of the way and we got room now that we can uh, maneuver this fan shroud and get it out of the way i'm going to pull out that last bolt Once that bolt's out, you can tip that. You can tip that fan hub down, and it'll come right up and out of there. You have enough room to maneuver it and wiggle it. And that'll get you the uh, that fan hub out, and then that opens everything up so that you can get at that 
water pump. So I'm going to go ahead and set this down and get some of this other stuff out of the way and then we'll get after the water pump. So we'll be back with you. Okay, we've removed the fan shroud and the fan blades. They're out of the way. And one of the next things we do is um, on the front of that water pump is a pulley. Take the bolts out of that and might need a pry bar to get it off the snout of that. It's fairly snug. But uh, set that on out of the way. And then what we're going to do next, up here on top, there's one bolt right here that's uh, held a bracket for these air conditioner lines and we've got to get that loose off the top. And <clears throat> then what we're going to do is right down here we've got these, uh, there's actually nine bolts. And uh, we're going to take those bolts all off on around the circle, kind of around the water pump. And from there we'll be able to pull that water pump out and then up on top here we've got a, uh, a thermostat housing. We're going to have to switch that out to the new water pump. So that's uh, what we're going to do next and we'll get back with you. Okay, we got the bolts all out and we pulled out that, that uh, water pump assembly. And one other thing I wanted to make mention of is uh, <clears throat> always check your idlers here. And uh, if you hear that one, it don't sound the best. So what we're going to do on this one while we're in here and get all this tore apart we're going to replace all those idlers and uh, the, the tensioners as well while we're here because this, this one has probably 750,000 miles on it right in that neighborhood. So we're going to take care of all that while we're in here but uh, you know you can hear it. It's going to be a problem if you don't take care of it. So uh, I'll show you the water pump here in a minute and get back with you. Okay here's the old water pump assembly and the bearing was, was shot on it. It was way gone. So we got this out. <clears throat> There's three bolts up here on top where that top radiator hose goes. <clears throat> Take them three bolts out and you got uh, thermostats in there. And those thermostats have an O-ring right here that uh, seals them up. And there's also a gasket on top of that as well. But uh, if, the, uh, if the thermostats don't want to come out, you can pop them out with a screwdriver like so. But uh, the kit with the over, or water pump should have the new seals in and all that. So just a matter of yanking those out. Just wanted to show you that. And uh, we'll get everything cleaned up and get ready to go back together with it. Okay, we're ready to put these thermostats into this new water pump or this remand water pump. And the kit comes with two gaskets. It'll be this one for between the block and the water pump. And this one here which goes to that aluminum uh, tube over there. It's attached to the alternator. And then there's these two seals and they go on the uh, thermostats and we'll pop those on the thermostats and then they go in the housing and you kind of press them on in there like so now my parts man at uh, at the mercedes-benz dealer tells me there's no gasket up here and uh, my belief is we need something to seal that up up on top. The O-rings will seal it down below. But uh, what I've put on is a very thin coat of uh, black uh, silicone. Basically what I use is a ready gasket. It's resistant to powertrain fluids and antifreeze. And <clears throat> that will help seal up the top part on top side of these. Because uh, I really hate to have a coolant leak. So we'll put these on and we're going to torque them down to about uh, 22 to 24 inch or foot pounds of torque and then this housing will be ready to go back on the engine block so we're gonna fasten this down we'll get just a little bit of squeeze out here on that uh, silicone that'll help seal that up and then uh, we'll get this prepped and, and we'll get back with you okay we're prepping this for the gasket that goes between the block and the water pump and I'm putting on a little bit of silicone I'm not putting a ton on just enough to uh, keep the gasket in place while I'm putting it in so my bowl holes stay lined up nice and like I say it's just just enough basically to keep things in place just to give it a little bit of tack the gasket can seal up on its own but I just need to hold it in place because I've only got two hands so we'll do that and uh, kind of stick it down just all right now what we've done here is we started to uh, pry apart this I decided to try and put this gasket in over here instead because it's a fairly snug fit you can take a pry bar and move it just enough to get that gasket in place between the water pump and this aluminum tube. And then you can <clears throat> wiggle that gasket around with your fingers 
and get the uh, the bolt started. So that saves a lot of a lot of grief right there with trying to manipulate the water pump and hold that gasket in place as well. So that's basically how we do that one, and uh, that way you don't have to silicone it on. So just kind of a heads up. You can pry just just enough to get it in. You don't want to get crazy with it. So all right. Okay, we set the fan shroud in, kind of angled it back, and got the fan blade setting in there, and uh, we're ready to set in this this fan hub. And we're gonna work that on in right over here. Get it set, kind of in place, and then from there we can get our bolts in and uh, button this up. So we're going to go ahead and get them in and then we'll get back with you. Okay, we've got the fan blade on right now. With the shroud back, you can get your hand in there just enough to be able to get those nuts and washers on for the fan to the hub and uh, tighten them down. And basically what we got left is to put the fan shroud up here and bolt it up and bring our bracket up and get that uh, up here where it needs to be. And uh, other than that, we're pretty well done. We got the antifreeze in. Um, job went pretty smooth. So I want to thank you for watching the video and have a great day. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Please check out my other videos on my YouTube page. And I want to introduce you to Amsoil's full line of synthetic lubricants. Uh, we have the most complete line of synthetics for your automotive and light truck needs, uh, as well as heavy equipment and semis. Full line of synthetics been around since 1972. And you can check those out at www.donsoil.com. Also, we have a page for looking up fluid capacities and that one is fluidcapacity.com and you can go in there and you can get all your fluid capacities of your vehicle you can print off a list so that you've got all the capacities of your cooling system, your transmission, your engine, all those and have a great day